Mason, the Unbreakable uh, universe, has, the trilogy has been many years in the making. The idea was to make one and then wait a couple of decades and then make two in a row. Incredible. Yes. That's nailed that. I think so. Yeah. Uh, look, I don't think uh, the, the latest movie is all bad. I think the two thirds of it I quite enjoyed. I, I like agree. The premise yeah. and the setup. But, but wouldn't you agree that the third act, because it's so bad and undermines the first two acts, mm. that the whole movie is in fact yeah, very bad? It kind of threw up a lot of questions for me in terms of this universe. Speaking of throwing up, I yeah. just watched the movie Glass. <laughs> and? I threw up a lot. Oh, no. I think it was bad popcorn. It could have been unrelated. Yeah, it could have been. Because normally, un- I don't think you've ever yeah. thrown up from a bad movie before. No, that's true. Has anyone? Maybe a three-day one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. Okay, so look, I've got some questions here that I, that I want to go through about this universe that I think things don't quite add up. I'm ready. And if people have answers for these, I'd love to hear them in the comments Maybe I've got well. some logical answers here for you. Here we bloody go. Okay, so basically, to start with... In this universe, there exists a machine that you kind of laser someone's brain and then they don't have their superpowers anymore. I think that exists already, though. Yeah? It's just a laser. Or just being hit with a hammer. I think lasering your brain would... Yeah, hammer would work. <laughs> yeah. I think lasering your brain would, remo- would remove anybody's powers super or otherwise. Yeah, which he says that you'll still be you, but you won't have your abilities, Mr. Glass. His abilities being... Computers and getting through doors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and right. Such. Mm. Yeah, I just and being somewhat smart. Yeah, so they have this machine. I don't understand, and they had Mister Glass. Yep. I don't understand why, in the two decades that he's been imprisoned, that this wasn't used on him and others. Are we spoiling this, by the way? Oh yeah, big okay, time. Okay, right. Yeah, because she works. Sarah Paulson's character works for an organization. Yeah. Whose job it is to either kill, find superheroes or superpowered beings, and either remove their powers or kill them, or drown them in a puddle. Drown them in a puddle, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, why? If you if you have evidence that he can do what he can do, or even if you suspect, why didn't you do it years ago? Yeah. Anyway, that's question one. Next up, we've got. Why convince people who really have superpowers that they don't have superpowers when you could just kill them or use the machine? It's a waste of time. Yeah. We're going to hold you here for three days. We're going to get you all together to scheme and plot and, That's right, exactly. and test your abilities. Exactly. Team up. See if you can combine, combine your powers with maybe a giant <laughs> nuclear fireball or something. <laughs> who knows what's happened when we put you together, you know? Yeah. And again... Speaking of nuclear fireballs, mm. in the three days that she's got with these people, there could be superheroes in other cities just well, she causing says a that ruckus. There are, yeah. Causing a ruckus could be killing, could be crashing other trains. What are you doing, wasting your time? We can just be killing these people. There could be a crocodile man snapping up everyone's sandwiches. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> can you imagine? Um, 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 um. So that sounds just, delightful. Certainly, such a big part of this movie is that idea that maybe they're crazy. Yeah, and I right. l- enjoyed that premise a lot. Me too. And maybe the twist would, would have been more interesting if it was, oh no, they are crazy, but this guy's just pretty strong, you know, and this guy's got b- brittle bones and yeah, right. this guy's got 15 people in him. By happenstance, they were all convinced that they were superheroes, but really they weren't. Yeah. And also maybe the, from there you could go, well, David Dunn isn't really super powered. He's just strong. But does that make him less of a person for that? Because he's still, you know, he's still out there doing good or whatever. Exactly. Does, does, does it really matter? Is the is the ability, is the desire to do right, is that a delusion itself? You yeah. know what I mean? And I guess that leads me into, do any of these people really have powers? What constitutes a power in this universe? I think the closest thing we really get is a precognition where David can sense if someone's got a gun and what they're up to or what they're going to do. Yep. But just being strong and flipping a car. Did you know I have the ability to determine if what someone's up to? <laughs> really? I just have a look at him and I'm like, oh, you having lunch? <laughs> Huh. Good. Is that a superpower? What you this... like crocodile is going to eat your sandwich? Aye! I mean, maybe in, the, in this universe it is a superpower. <laughs> well, that's the thing, yeah. I mean, Glass is a smart guy with brittle bones. That's not a superpower. It's really not. And he feels that he is the opposite number two. David Dunn, mm. but by what measure? Yes, you know what I mean. There's not a there's not an energy field linking the two or anything like that. No, they're just two different people <laughs> born in different places in the world who could do different things. Who could do different things, yeah. or in or in Mr. Glass's case, not a lot of things. Yeah, they explain away the superpowers in this movie themselves to prove to these three characters that they're not superpowered. Mm. There are real world explanations, and even at the end of this movie, when they were like, you know what, they really were super the whole time. Mm-hmm. I don't think they are. I don't <laughs> right. think I don't think being able to flip a car or crawl on a wall is that different from people in the real world. The ability to push a man. Yes. Yep. <laughs> well, you- the ability to not swim. <laughs> <laughs> but what I thought was you just brought this up. Another question. When one pops up, apparently, one of these superpowered beings, someone pops up to counter them. 
Supposedly, that's yeah. that's the the wisdom in this movie universe. But there's three. There's three. That's an uneven number, isn't it? <laughs> so there must be another crocodile man out there snapping up people's sandwiches, or or providing sandwiches to <laughs> yes, the underprivileged. That's, that's right. He's got a food truck. He's giving out sandwiches. He's not giving out that many because he lifts the little window and he's a crocodile man, and people run away. That's right. He's like, but I just want to provide sandwiches. <laughs> so I just think. By the rules of the the universe, what they showed in this movie, there needs to be an even number. So maybe we will get a sequel to this where there'll just be a guy on his own. Yeah, like, right. The guy who was the opposite of me, he's dead. Yeah. yeah. My hands are so slippery because he was stuck down a well. He's like, my hands are so slippery, I can't climb up a wall. I wish I could, but I can't. So I just, I just thought that was odd. Mm. The other thing about the, a lot of this movie is built around the fact that there's this secret society that doesn't want everybody in the world to know that a man can crawl on a wall or flip a car or can be broken if you touch him. Mm, they don't right. want people to know that. They want it to be a secret. They don't want these superpowers to get out there. That being said, I don't know why they would think that that stuff needs to be hidden. Yeah, right. It's not that interesting. And also, where do you draw the line? Right. Like, they're like, we've got to eliminate this guy because he can climb up a wall. We've got to eliminate this guy because he can think five steps ahead. Mm. At a certain point, are they just going to, like, chess tournaments and going, this guy's a strategic genius, bullet to the head. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're going, oh, my God, that guy dunked, that guy That guy got a three-pointer from all the way across the other side <laughs> of the court. Better kill him. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Is any kind of exceptionalism... Met with, yeah, with did, death? Are they just going to nuke an Olympic stadium? Yeah, please. <laughs> just take out the world's athletes? Mm-hmm. and But also people who are, are weakened, like Mr. Glass. Do you get? Do you attack a guy who gets headaches a lot? <laughs> do, you know, do you know what yeah, I mean? I think you'd find it's a relief. <laughs> yeah, he might. He may just. So I just think if it's revealed that people like this exist in the real world, why are you covering it up? Like the bigger cover up would be that there's a secret society of murderers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think maybe that's it. They've just worked and themselves. If you, into... And if you have a slightly different eye color, they will kill you. Yeah, as an example. Yeah. yeah. But they certainly hide out that restaurant, didn't they? Where everybody was was I quiet. Guess, yeah. yeah. They even they, even the bar staff was their own. Do you think because the bar staff worked in the restaurant and everybody w- was quiet? Do you think the bar staff have to do they have other jobs or they're just barmen? The barmen for the secret society. They don't have another job. Oh, good question. They're just a barman. Or do you think that they they join the secret society mm. to be like, yeah, I'm gonna be part of this, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the world right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of all of these freaks and they're like, Okay, can you stand behind the bar? And can you <laughs> when uh, can someone... I get a, I'd like a vodka soda, please? <laughs> okay, the other thing was if you were shown footage right now of that car park fight mm-hmm. where a man's flipping a car. Yep. Uh, a man's bending a bar. A man They're flipping cars and bending, bending bars. bars. You see a shirtless bald man doing a dog run. Mm-hmm. If that was shown to you, first of all, would you think it's fake? And if you didn't think it was fake, would you care? First of all, I would think it would be an ad for something. Yes. I don't know what product, but I wouldn't be that interested to find Ener- out. Energy drinks, probably. Probably energy drinks, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Energy drinks or, or, or deodorant this or something. This guy's a real monster. Mm, but that's because he hasn't had his Snickers. <laughs> you say monster energy drink. Yeah, but, no, yes, I that works too. but no, I wouldn't. it wouldn't convince me of anything. Yeah. I'd be like, that's a, probably a couple of dudes and they've got a new Adobe special effects package and they want to test out all the stuff. That's, yeah. their, that's their audition reel to get on doing some special effects work on a Marvel movie. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I think. And it's not that impressive, but that's because they don't have millions of dollars. Yeah. I think if they wanted to convince people, you'd need to do that stuff in a much more public place. Yeah. And one of them would need to be flying. Absolutely. Like the end of Chronicle. Or just just getting shot. Yeah. David Dunn supposedly is unbreakable. You, you, you know what you do? You put up a little flyer on a telephone pole and it says it's the unbreakable man. Come to this carnival and shoot him with you. Bring your own gun. <laughs> Fill it with whatever. We don't care. I mean, he does specify in the first Unbreakable movie that he, he will be shot. Maybe his son's going to shoot him. Yeah. And he's like, if you shoot me, I will die. Huh. But the beast is somewhat bulletproof. Mm. Except... Wait, so David Dunn's not bulletproof? I don't know. Then he's not as even even as impressive as I thought he was <laughs> no, five minutes I'm ago. Saying. And I didn't think he was that impressive five minutes They're ago. They're mostly just regular people, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I think you'd, if you wanted to convince people, you need to do it in a much more public place where people are getting cell phone footage and there's a dude flying and shooting fireballs and someone turns into a dragon. And maybe some actual scientists who yeah. aren't secretly part of the murder cult. Exactly. So I just think in this universe where what if superheroes were real, it's not that different different from the real world and also it's not really a twist on the genre because most superhero universes start as what if superheroes were real 
That's mm. what Batman Begins is. The MCU started like that. That's right. Kick-Ass, Watchmen. Yeah. All of these things start with what if superheroes were real? And this is what if superheroes were real, except their powers are just things regular people can do. And they can't swim, some of them. <laughs> and they can't swim. Well, that brings me to my final question. Why didn't Bruce Willis learn to swim? He had I so know, long I, to know learn. I know he's weakened by it. Yeah. But you'd at least learn to tread water, to hold your breath. Mm. Just get acclimatized to water. Yeah. Learn jujitsu for, <laughs> for 20 years. You could probably get out of that guy dipping your head into the puddle. You know what I mean? <laughs> All of these things yeah. are true. Ridiculous. Anyway, if people have answers for these questions, I'd love to know. I don't think the franchise on a whole is a bust. I think there's some really good ideas, but I just don't think it stuck the landing and it raised more questions than it answered for me. Mm. Yeah. What's next for the Splitterverse? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. <laughs> Well, I believe M. Night Shyamalan has said he's done with this universe. Okay. Unless, of course, it makes a lot of money, in which case he's definitely going to be back. But, I mean, it does leave the door open. Yeah. Because apparently there are going to be people people out there. Watch the video. <sighs> they're going to they're gonna unleash their full potential. They'll become heroes as well. What's I can't imagine. What's the world going to look like? Oh, my God. Just people, just people leaping over small hills, you know? Just people shuffling cards real quick. Just people running slightly faster than they did yesterday. Just oh, my God. Just a man who can hold his breath. <laughs> yep. Just people waking up before their alarms go off. Yep. Incredible. Anyway, uh, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. We did an episode on uh, this very movie, an extended kind of review. If you want to check it out, that's linked below. It comes out every Monday. We talk the movie news of the week and such. Mm -hmm. Also, there's videos every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. Swing on, swing on by if you want. <laughs> swing on by. You don't have to. That's a catchphrase. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, have a good one. Grab that gem, you guys, and swing on by. Goodbye. Swing on by. Swing on by.